Hi everyone! It's quiz time again. It's Tuesday. Tuesday is quiz day. So, I'm going to try, I don't know why the video kept stopping last time, but I'm going to try this time to, I'll go a little bit slower, I'll give you a bit of space between the questions because I thought you could pause, but actually I think the pausing was maybe making it go a bit funny. So I'll give you a bit of time between each question to get everything ready, uh, to get those brains in gear and just to generally get as many right as you can. All right, so we're gonna go for three rounds this time because it will take that little bit longer. We're gonna go for three rounds of 10 questions. So I thought 50, because I rattled through them, I think 50 would end up being a bit many. So we're gonna go for 30 today. All right, so a bit like you did last time, put on YouTube what your scores were, what did you get? Um, mums and dads, please feel free to help out and we'll see how we get on. All right, so here we go. Round number one. What instrument does a doctor use to find out if you've got a fever? Okay, so what piece of equipment would they use to find out if you've got a fever, or to find out what your temperature was? Number two, what does a botanist study? A botanist. And I do like these questions. They are, they are quizzes designed just for children. And I like them because actually they are, I think I said it last time, they are very much uh, kind of the sorts of knowledge that actually it's a good thing to have. It's good to know this sort of stuff. Some of it is quite filmy and quite fun, but there's some good general knowledge in there too. Number three, what is the person who carries a golfer's bag of clubs called? Interesting one, this one. Your parents might know, so don't forget to get a bit of help from them if you can. So what is the person who carries a golfer's bag of clubs called? Number four. In the movie The Lion King, what kind of animal is Timon? So there's Timon and Pumbaa, if you remember. Great characters, great partnership. So we want to know what kind of animal Timon is. Number five. What is the third planet from the sun? What is the third planet from the sun? Number six. And I love questions like this because I never really thought about it until now. Which of the seven dwarfs was beardless? Which of the seven dwarfs had no beard? And again, until now, I didn't know that only one of them didn't. So it's quite a good question. Number seven. In which country did Joan of Arc lead an army? In which country did Joan of Arc lead an army? Question eight. What does a carnivore eat? Nice easy one, that one, I reckon. And a lot of the learning you've done in school, you should know that. What does a carnivore eat? Now, question nine is linked to one of your questions from last time. So it's one of the oceans. And it says, which ocean is frozen for most of the year? So out of those four oceans that we talked about last time or that I gave the answer for, which one is frozen for most of the year? Okay. And number 10, what is the centre of a hurricane called? And sometimes you say the something of the storm, but it's the centre of the hurricane. So what is the centre of the hurricane called? Okay. Okay, next one. In which sport was Muhammad Ali a world champion? And to this day, he's still renowned as one of the most amazing sportsmen to ever have lived. In which sport was Muhammad Ali a world champion? I think we've talked about him in an assembly. So you might remember some of the quotes that I did or when we talked about um, about sort of a sportsman, he came up. So have a think. Number two, what is the name of the lion in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? Famous series of books by C.S. Lewis. Uh, what was the name of the lion? Number three, I think, is very easy. In which country is the Sphinx located? Where would you find the Sphinx? It's a very big cat. 
Number four, in chess, what is the only piece that can only move diagonally? So there's only one piece whose only move can be diagonal. What piece is that? Number five, if you are a martial arts expert, what colour belt are you entitled to wear? What is the colour of the belt if you're a martial arts expert? Number six. So it's a film question again, but going back a little bit, you might not have seen this film, even though actually it's a really good kids film. In the film Stuart Little, what kind of animal is Stuart? Number seven. You might have done this in year four and you're talking about dragons because, as you'll know, Dragons are fictional creatures, but question seven says, what kind of creature is a Komodo dragon? Because actually we do have Komodo dragons in this, um, not in this country, but uh, that, that live na uh, now, now at these, this time, it's not fictional. So what kind of creature is a Komodo dragon? Don't worry, they don't live in this country. Number eight, what name is given to someone who studies the stars? And I'm uh, better clarify that the stars in the sky, not the star signs, because they're slightly different. They are. They've got a slightly different name. It sounds similar, but slightly different. Number nine. What is the name of the invisible line that runs around the middle of the Earth? So you can't see it, but if you look on a map or on a globe you will see that this invisible line runs right the way around the Earth, okay? And number 10, round two, which word can go before ache, brush and paste to make three other words? So which word will go before ache, brush and paste to make three other words? I reckon you can get that one. And then we're going to go last round. See how many of these you can get. Number one, round three. What magical item does Aladdin use to fly on? What magical item does Aladdin use to fly on? Question two. Of which African country was Nelson Mandela president? He was renowned as being a very special man. Um, he's no longer alive now, um, but um, when he became president, it was a big deal. So which Af uh, um, African country was Nelson Mandela president of? Now, number three, tricky this one. Have a think. See if you can, see if you can sort of visualise it in your brain. What are the colours of the five Olympic rings? So, as you probably will have, will have heard, we were due to have an Olympics this year, 2020. Um, it's been postponed. It's in Tokyo, but it's been postponed to 2021. And, um, yeah, it's a big deal to postpone something like that. If it happens every four years, um, and it's a massive sporting event. Um, the, those of you that watch Strictly, the man that was with Jeanette, I think, Will, Will Bailey, um, he actually injured himself really badly and strictly hurt his knee. But he was due to take part in the Paralympics, which happens on the same year, so 2020. And he was on in the press the other day, said he was feeling guilty because he actually now, chance are he will be able to do the Olympics in 2021 because it will give him chance to recover from his knee injury. So he was thinking, oh, crikey, I'm benefiting from it being postponed. But, you know, it's quite quite um, interesting that some people will now get the chance to do the Olympics that might not have had the chance because it's a year later. So it's very, very odd. Some people will not like it being postponed, some people will. But in your brain, what are those five Olympic rings? What are their colours? Number four, easy peasy. What did tadpoles turn into? Those of you that are doing life cycles at the moment, you might have done them in year five. What did tadpoles turn into? Number five, um, they like oceans, this quiz website. They must love questions about oceans. Which is the largest ocean in the world? So out of those four oceans, which is the largest one in the world? 
Number six, some of you might be lucky enough to have even seen this in, in real life. In which Australian city is the Opera House? It's that beautiful white building, the architectural building. That's very famous. Whenever New Year, you often see the fireworks um, above this building. Uh, it's a beautiful building. What city is it in? Number seven, what is the name of the plumber who features in several of a lot of video games? What is his name? And I don't mean his mate, because his mate is also a plumber, but this is the guy whose name is kind of in every, every title of the video game. So what is his name? Number eight. Now, tricky one, this one, because you might, you might have never heard of this. What is the largest country in Scandinavia? Now, Scandinavia is a specific part of Europe. Um, and it's a, it's a group of countries. So there are, well, I don't know, four or five maybe countries in Scandinavia, which is the biggest. Have a guess if you don't know, remember. Number nine, nice and easy, I reckon you'll get this one. What is the name of Peter Pan's pirate enemy? What is the name of Peter Pan's pirate enemy? And the last question today, another planet's question again. I think it's good knowledge, and especially if you're in year five, you should know this. Which planet is closest to the sun? Which planet is closest to the sun? So while you're figuring out the answer for that one, I'll scroll back up. We'll see how well you got on. So round number one. Um, a doctor uses a thermometer to see if you have a fever. A botanist studies plants. Uh, the person that carries a golfer's uh, clubs is called a caddy. Timon in The Lion King is a meerkat. The third planet from the sun is us, it's Earth. The seven dwarfs, so thinking which one was beardless, and it's always a good question to even name them, you normally forget one. Um, the, the one that's beardless is Dopey, so Dopey has no beard. Joan of Arc led an army in France, so if you've got France, well done, because that's a tricky one. A carnivore eats meat. The ocean that is frozen for most of the year is the Arctic Ocean. And the centre of a hurricane is called the Eye. So often here you'll see, oh, we're in the eye of the storm, but actually it's the centre of a hurricane too. Okay, next round. Muhammad Ali was a world champion in boxing. Uh, the line in the line of which in the water was called Aslan. Uh, the country that the Sphinx is located is Egypt. The chess piece that can only move diagonally is the, uh, the bishop. Uh, what colour belt are martial art experts entitled to wear? That's a black belt. So if you had a black belt in anything, you're pretty amazing. Stuart Little, the animal is a mouse. A Komodo dragon is a type of lizard. It's a really big lizard, and a scary lizard, but it is a lizard. Um, the name given to someone who studies the stars is an, an astronomer. If it's the star signs, it's an astrologer. The invisible line that runs around the middle of the Earth is the equator. And I reckon you got this one. The word that can go before ache, brush and paste is tooth. Toothache, toothbrush and toothpaste. And the last round. So the magical item that Aladdin flies around is a carpet. The African country that Nelson Mandela was president of was South Africa. The colours of the five golden rings was blue, black, green, red and yellow. And you've got to get all five to get the point. So go for it. Tadpoles turn into frogs. The largest ocean in the world is the Pacific. The Opera House in Australia is in Sydney. So it's called the Sydney Opera House. So that's in Sydney. The name of the plumber is obviously Mario. So if you've got Mario Kart and things like that, that's him. The largest country in Scandinavia is Sweden. So you've got Sweden, Denmark, Norway, but it's Sweden. The name of Peter Pan's pirate enemy is Captain Hook, of course. And which planet is closest to the sun is Mercury. So scores out of 30. Do like you did last time. Put it on Facebook um, or on here, actually. Comment on this. Put it on this. And if I if I try and remember all the things I've got to do for my assembly, I'll see if I can write down who got the best score. All right. If you do it independently, great. Put down that you did it independently. If you did it with a parent, tell me that as well. All right. Well done, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the quiz. Take care. Bye.